New at 5.30, in the wake of the Texas Elementary School massacre, we're learning more about what our local school districts are doing to keep our kids safe. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum is live at Pleasant Valley High School in Chico. So, Ryan, what role do the district's four school resource officers play on this day-to-day uh, -day basis? They're just on campus to be there just in case if any student needs to talk to them as well as monitor all the campuses just in case something goes wrong, Alan and Haley. And many of these students, they tell me that they actually look at the officers as a friend. Now, I may be at Pleasant Valley High School, but these officers don't just manage the high schools. These officers also look over all schools in the district, including elementary schools, making sure the students and staff are safe. In a second, we could call and have somebody here to check out any type of um, any hiccup that comes along the line, suspicious activity, whatever it may be. And they don't hesitate to be here. Uh, we were in the park yesterday for a field trip and our SRO came and joined us just to kind of make sure that everything was going well. So it's a great relationship that we have. I feel safe when they're on campus. I mean, they really help us a lot. Shout out to my guy John, he really helps us. He's like one of the best people here and he's like, I feel like he's like one of the students sometimes. These school resource officers are also Chico police officers and are on the new radio system where they can contact anybody from any Chico Unified School. Now, teachers and students go through several active shooter and emergency trainings to prepare for the worst. So coming up at 6, I'll break down what those trainings look like. Reporting live from Pleasant Valley High School in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. And the Chico Unified School District does have fencing around all campuses and locks on the outside of each gate.